share this channel on the internet. How you doing guys and welcome back. Welcome back to part 2 of Boga Bash 2022 and I hope you guys enjoyed part 1. We sure did. It was pretty exciting seeing everybody here enjoying themselves on another beautiful day out in the water. But now we gotta go back to work. This hard job that someone has to do it and I kindly volunteered. And to answer a question that I got that I couldn't answer myself is why is Lake Boca called a lake when it's made up with salt water? And the answer is, I don't know. And I tried doing a quick search, but nothing came up. So if by any chance one of you guys know, let me know on the comments. And another question that I got from part one was, does the police harass the boaters? And first of all, I wouldn't call it harass. I would just call it they're doing the job, just as long as you don't break the rules. And for what I saw was, they were pretty lenient. They were basically just cracking down people on the jet skis riding around without vests and also making sure that the driver of the boat wasn't drinking and driving and i don't think that's harsh at all i think that's just them doing their job to protect us from the careless boaters and causing an accident and ruining our day here at book of ash 2022 Now here's something that was unexpected but yet entertaining. A few fans were calling over for a skeeto and luckily I had the camera running to catch the moment and let's see what happens. And by the look of things, I'm gonna take a wild guess and I think they wanna ride. So, as long as they wear the vest, they can ride. I guess we'll call this uh, Fresquito Jet Ski Taxi Service around Boca Bash. And this reminds me when I first bought my jet skis in the early 90s and we used to pull up at South Beach and all the ladies wanted to ride. Yep, the good younger years. Okay, so what is it? Fresquito doesn't want to let them go or they don't want to let go of Fresquito. What's going on here? Well, he has a big smile and I wonder why. And look at this, he's at it again. But I guess this time he's just dragging it along. It's always great to meet the people that watch the channel and look at this, we found the best dressed looking lady here at Boca Bash. It's always a pleasure to meet the people that watch the channel and especially on a day like this where everybody's having fun in the sun.
man, look at this. He finally made it. My good friend Dewey made it to Boggle Bash. And he brought his boat all the way up from all over. So if it took me more or less two and a half hours, I think for him it was more or less three and a half hours. But he made it and that's what counts. But he wasn't the only one because there was still people coming in to join the fun here at Boggle Bash in Lake Boca. I think Dewey found the perfect spot to anchor up by all the party boats, so we're just gonna let the camera run and see what it catches. Well, definitely, we found a hot spot here at 
Boca Bash. But what do you guys think about so far? Do you like it? Will you come next year? And if you are, remember, it's the last Sunday of the month of April. And beware that the ramps around here close really early. So if you're gonna travel up or travel down like we did, make sure you arrive early and give yourself enough time because the travel distance is pretty far. If you're coming from Miami or even for Lauderdale like we did. And talking about traveling, well right now is about 4.30 in the afternoon and I think we're gonna start to head back because our ride hits very long and very slow. Well, this is really surprising and I think right now the time was 4.30 or even 5 o'clock, I don't really remember, but when we got to the channel to start heading back, it was crazy. People were still coming in, but now boats are starting to leave and it was a traffic jam under the bridge. And now that means the ride back was going to be even harder than before because we have to watch out for the incoming traffic and the traffic behind us. Here's the part of being a jet skier. It's really hard because the big boats, it's really hard to see over the bow, so you have to stay out of their way. I thought the ride getting to Boca Bash was entertaining. Well, on the way back, it's gonna be more entertaining and more challenging. But the good thing, we don't have to wait for the drawbridge to open because we're pretty small. So, little by little, we were leaving the boat traffic behind. Because driving through the wake of the boats with a jet ski could be very uncomfortable. 
especially when you spend a few hours driving around on it and you have a few hours more to go. So yep, we did it, we made it to Boca Bash and now we're back to Fort Lauderdale within 2 hours and 45 minutes and look at this, I guess Doobie's friends still got enough energy to keep going with the bash but they're gonna need it because they still got another hour to go down to all over. While us, we reach our channel and heading over to the ramp. Well guys, remember to check out both videos, part 1 and part 2 of Boca Bash 2022 and it was a pleasure taking you guys along for the ride. And let me know what was the best part you guys liked. Until next time, I'll catch you guys out in the water and let's keep having fun in the sun.